2014 Jeep Compass Strut Replacement. This is my new series called Fuck You Brian Nickham. I did a trade here a while back for a 2014 Jeep Compass and uh, the dude didn't tell me that the struts is bad but I ended up trading anyway. Just the high gas prices. It's costing us about I'd say $400 to $500 a month just for fuel. So I had to get rid of my truck and ended up with this 2014 Jeep Compass. to meet this guy and he didn't tell me about that in the first place. <laughs> That's enough of that. I better drive. And we're gonna replace the struts. Just burn nicking. Fuck that motherfucker. But anyways, there's the new struts. The link will be in the description from Amazon. But let me go ahead and get the tire off. Alright, and here we go. I got the wheel off. I'm going to take these bolts off, but I'm going to take those three off and take that loose. I'm going to take these bolts loose and take that loose and pull this off, get a good look at it, compare it to the other ones. It's pretty much all that right there, just disconnecting everything from that. And just to let you know, you don't need to have the lug nuts to where you'll twist up your lug wrenches and need a freaking three foot cheater bar with a big socket wrench to get the damn tires off. That's ridiculous. Imagine if you got stranded out in the country and couldn't get your lug nuts off. That's never something you want to mess with. But we go ahead and get these bolts off. All right, here we go. I got all those off. These big ones are really, really tight. So you might have to spray some uh, liquid penetrating oil on those sometimes. I wanted to come back and do this video before I pulled it off all the way to let you know it's definitely important to have a jack underneath it so you can raise it as you go because this here was kind of like that and you couldn't just pull it out without jacking it up anyway so i jacked it up and now it's loose down here so now just take off the three bolts off top and also anytime you have something jacked up with a wheel off put your jack stand i've had a couple times where they fell off the jack and the jack stand saved my ass so just saying be safe let me go ahead and take those three bolts off the top and we'll see what they look like all right i got it off yeah it's just some three bolts you want to hold on to it as you undo that last one or else it's going to drop of course here's the old one here's the new one really can't see a much difference in them they look pretty much identical now but mine came from amazon so we're just going to not worry about that one because it sounds like shit and it sounds like the car's falling apart when you're driving around. So we're just going to change it. You know, that's what he said it was. And honestly, that's what I thought it was too. And he gave me money to replace the struts. So I was like, oh, well, hell, it's, it shouldn't be that hard looking at it. And well, here I am. It's not that hard except the tire bolts and the big bolts on the strut have been tight. So not too big. Let me go ahead and retrofit this in and i'll get back with you after it's in and let you see all right here we go i got it back on i do want to say something about this make sure you use the jack to lift it to take off the sway arm or whatever that is right there uh because if you beat on it and knock it out you damage them threads 
Now also, when you turn that nut and try to tighten it, it will spin the whole thing. So, the way you hold it is you can't get an Allen wrench. And you put it in there as you tighten it, and it'll tighten, and that holds it still. That's how you hold that bolt. See, I didn't know that. It took me a few minutes to figure that out. But that's it put all back in now. And now I'll go do the other side. Yay! All right, well, I got the other strut in. Damn it, Brian, nick em. Fuck you. All right, now time for the back struts. Okay. I'm gonna take these two loose. Then you come in here. Thank God they didn't give me a spare tire with this. Oh my gosh, it would've been hard to get to this. I had to take the spare tire out. They probably sold it. Now you see that bolt there? That bolt there? You take those out and then you can get to it. And to get to that, you pull this big piece of freaking insulation out of this hole and then you can reach them bolts in there. Well, let me go ahead and get this strut off. Show you what I'm talking about. All right, I got it off. Here's the old one. As you can see, I got another cut. Cut there. This one has a boot on it. So just take it. One thing that matters is this part that's right here. See how? One side has a point, one side's round. The point sticks outwards towards the tire. And this, I guess, pops right on there. Now, I don't know how easy this is gonna be because, to be honest with you, I couldn't get that bolt out. I don't know it turns really easy. Leave that nut on there. That way you can really hit on it. But for some reason, it doesn't want to come out. I can push it a little ways. Let's just go ahead and see. If I can do this without taking it out. I just stab that down in there. Mm. That didn't sound good. There's a big long pry bar here. I'll try to let you see it. Of course, you got to take your nuts off. <laughs> Almost forgot about that part. Now that thing comes all the way up there. So. Ah, it's so close. What else can I pry on? <laughs> I didn't have to take that bolt off because I just took this pole through here. Make sure I didn't hit that shaft. And I used this as leverage to pull it down. Now I don't have to take a fucking bolt off. Jesus, that's that's a blessing. Now I'm gonna need my hands and I'm gonna have to find a way to prop it up and so I can go put the notes nuts on it on the inside. And come out here and change it on the outside. All right, what I came up with, see how it's up there? I just put a jack on the bottom of it. And now I can get in there and put the bolts on the inside. Yay! 15 millimeters. And you climb in here. Fill the studs. Right there. Run it all the way down. And run this one all the way down. A lot easier going on than they are coming off. I'll tell you that much. And by the way, look how filthy this is. I know it's just a place for a spare tire, but Brian, you're slob, dude. Mr. Nickum, you suck. Alright, I gotta put it all back on. Still got one to do, but this is gonna be it for today. Gotta to take kids swimming and stuff. 
just put the tire back on and we'll be good for today all right here we are again i got the old one off over there here's the new one i just wanted to come point out on this one that other side i was able to do it without taking this bolt all the way out but this one over here i guess isn't as worn maybe because i left that bolt in and i kept prying down on it and i came to the conclusion that this bar up here being connected to this which was connected to that made it to where it wouldn't go down just enough for the nut to clear so this side i had to do it and this side is a little bit harder because you can't really it's got all them wires and crap right there but i like how they have a little panel here to where you can reach it let me put it back on here real quick. All right. Now, since I got it in there, I had it around the wrong way. Turn around to where the notch comes out. Now, put this jack under it. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 some more just like that take these new nuts see check it up and then your studs come up here this one here is hard because of this fucking little box the hell's that box doing there and then you can these ones here are easy because you can spin them down free-handed Tighten it up. You got your little handy box there. Watch out for all them wires. I just tighten it as tight as I can get it. I don't know the foot pounds or anything like that. I know there's a required amount of foot pounds that you're supposed to have on these. But yeah, I just get tight for that. You don't want to get one like super super tight and then come over here and do the other one because sometimes that'll cock it. Common sense. And you come over here to the other side. I ain't going nowhere. So. Alright, now the struts are on. That one was a little bit trickier, but that's alright. We got it. And now, to put the foam back in the little slots and clean all this out because I'm not a slob like Brian Nickham. I like my shit clean. He's a slob. I mean, there's even fucking corn in here. All kinds of shit. I don't know what to think about this dude. Probably have to remove them seats just to see what I got going on. But that's alright. I'll clean it all out. Finally got done cleaning. Cleaning that. Oh, this thing was filthy on the inside. Now it looks new. I like having been prepared though. Don't have a spare tire, so I have a compartment. Yay! Fuck you, Brian Nickham. But, got all the windows clean. It's really hard to see. So, I thought I'd clean the windows, see if that helped. And I cleaned the inside, put on a new air filter. 
now it's time to go test drive it, I guess. I wanted to make a point to say that, Brian, you told me that the tire wasn't low, that it was just fine, because this light came on. This light right here. Now, out of all the things you didn't tell me about, the one thing you did try to tell me is that the tire pressure sensor was messed up. You know, I'd rather the tire be low because I could put a plug in a hole than the tire pressure sensor being messed up. Because, guess what? I can air it up. But, god damn, dude. I mean, the one of the simplest things. Like, you didn't tell me that the air conditioner barely even cooled off the car. You didn't tell me that the oil ain't been changed in months. I mean, I changed the oil yesterday. And you did tell me that the struts were out, but that's after the hour drive to get there while we were test driving it. And then you make up some bullshit about the tire being completely full. Well, you know what? I think it has a leak, which I'm out of all the things you didn't tell me about. This is the one lie that I appreciate being a lie because you know what? The tire is going low and I can plug that shit. I ain't got to buy nothing to fix that. Da, 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 da. This motherfucker up. And I'll fix one thing that you were saying needed to be fixed with money. Checking these tires. Come to this front one, it was like 60 pounds. I've been letting air out of it. And the back one had 16. At least go to a gas station that has the little tire pressure gauges. You don't want having way too much air. And the other one's having right or low air. That's ridiculous. Watch this one be at like 100 pounds or something. 75 fucking pounds on that, dude. Holy cow, Brian, you're an asshole. This fucking tire blew out. I don't know if it would. I've never had one that fucking full. Jesus, what the fuck, bro? Seventy-five pounds of air in one tire, man. I have a feeling it probably would have blown out sooner or later. Boy, everything you told me was a lie. Mr. Nickham, you need to get you an air pressure gauge because it's not safe driving around with that much air holy cow it says right here on the door how much air your tire should have there we go nowhere does that say 75 pounds the more things i find wrong with this the more i realize i just got screwed by a fucking idiot the freaking tire thing went away i don't know why you'd lie about that brian well, you said that thing was messed up and all the tires were fine. We had too much air in most of them. So let's see how this thing sounds. Right here's where it got really noisy. See the bumps? Oh, yeah. Guess I better turn this off since I'm driving and go cut my hair so I don't look like a fucking crazy madman. Who in the hell would rip off somebody with this kind of hair? Fuck you, Brian Nickham. But you know, when it comes right down to it, the only thing I'm really pissed off about him at for is lying about the year of the car when he first started the conversation. He said this was a 2016. which made about comparable price to mine now this one here being a couple years older it was about three thousand dollars cheaper so i guess i'll have to make do with this one i mean it runs good and he's just a fucking liar man before you do any deals with brian nickham make sure that 
uh, you check everything over. Fucking be honest with people. I don't care who you are, what your situation is. Just be fucking honest, please. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you see Brian Nickham, call him an asshole for me. Say, fuck you. From Randall. He'll know who I am. Anyways, peace. Thanks for watching. If you like the video and want to follow my process, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Hey man, while you're at it, check out my other YouTube channels. The Stay Home Dad, The Back End Handyman, The Dorcher Family, and The Average Stoner. Just a little bit of what I do from day to day as a stay home dad.